Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nay Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video, as the title says above, is going to be my January reads and studies video. But before I get into that, I do want to say Happy New Year to everyone who is watching this video. It is January 1st when this video is going up, but I'm actually recording this on December 29th. And I am excited for 2019 and all that it has in store. I do have a word of the year and some kind of goals and stuff, but I'll have a separate video for that hopefully coming next week. But we are going to dive into my January reads and studies. And before I get into that, I do want to share with you guys the things that I read in December because I'm excited about the things that I read. So I read two fiction novels, Christian fiction novels, in December and three Christian non-fictions. So starting off with the Christian fiction, I read this biblical fiction from Tessa Afshar, which is Thief of Corinth. I loved it. Um, I didn't love it as much as I did in The Fields of Grace or um, Pearl in the Sand. I did give this a four-star rating, but it was still a beautiful story. I enjoyed it. It was very comical. Um, the main character, Aradin, I think that's how you pronounce her name, was very, very funny to me. Um, this one included the Apostle Paul and took place, put place in um, Athens as well as Corinth. I think that's how you say it, yeah. Corinth, yeah. But um, I enjoyed it so much. I love her writing. It's amazing. I tabbed it up, as you can see. So I did read that and gave it four stars. Um, the next book I got was from Joe Sisicardi. I'm probably saying his name so wrong, but he contacted me on my book blogging um, email and asked me how to review his book. It was a Christian fiction. I totally said I would definitely do it and review it for that blog as well as sort of increase. And um, here is the book. It is called Heaven Shining Through. I really like this. This was a very much, um, very much a family based kind of story about an older woman. And um, I just, I really enjoyed everything about it. I gave this four stars. It was really good. It's a short read, but um, it's definitely powerful and amazing. So yeah, I read that, gave that four stars. Moving on, the rest of these are five star reads all the way, favorites, because I love them. So the first one being Lies Young Women Believe in the Truth That Sets Them Free by Nancy DeMoss, Wolgameth, and Donna Gresh. So this is a series that Nancy DeMoss has created. The first book was called Lies Women Believe. Um, and then they have this one, which is Lies Young Women Believe. Her husband wrote one for men, which is Lies men's be Men Believe. And then Donna Gresh is writing one for um, little girls, which is going to be Lies Little Girls Believe. Can't wait for that one to come out because I do own the other two plus the Bible study for this and the woman's one. Love this book so much. This book tore me to pieces. It ripped the younger me to pieces, you guys. I say I cried reading this book. I cried because... It is amazing. I'm going to do a whole video review on this because a lot of you guys have asked me to do a review on this. I definitely am. This is geared towards teenage girls. Um, I'm 27. I read it. I loved it. I cried. I boohooed. It was amazing. Just period. So I gave that five stars. Um, the next one was A Woman's Guide to Spiritual Warfare, How to Protect Your fam your Home, Family, and Friends from Spiritual Darkness by Quinn Scherer and Ruth Ann Garluck. This was a book that my mom actually got me um, because I saw her. She had she signed it and everything. We were supposed to read this together, and it took me forever to get through this book. Um, a lot of these books, these these last three books, took me about five, six months to read because I was taking my time, and I just was in a reading slump. But I love this book. As you can see the tabs, um, the purple tabs are like prayers in there that I wanted to remember and go back to and reference. But the pink tabs are things that stood out, and I mean, I was writing in this puppy, highlighting... This book was amazing. Um, it really got me into understanding more about prayer. I think this book paired with Fervent by Priscilla Shire are like amazing, amazing powerhouses. Um, definitely if you're really looking to pray um, more and get more into spiritual warfare, this is the book for you. I love this so much. And then the last one was finally this one, which is When God's Ways Make No Sense by Dr. Larry Crabb. I love this. I gave this five stars. I tabbed it up. It was amazing. Um, I'm definitely going to be rereading this book soon i don't know when but really soon this one talks about um who was it jonah saul and saul being paul before he was named paul um so saul and uh habakkuk and i loved it it was amazing this was like a mini bible study of them but it was more in depth and it was very personal to dr larry crab and it allowed me to um really question some things like this basically talks about questions that we as christians think but don't really tend to say out loud um, because, you know, God doesn't make sense sometimes. Sometimes you pray for one thing and he gives you a whole opposite thing that you didn't ask for um, and that you feel is terrible. But 
for some reason it makes sense to him but not to us this book was amazing i loved it i'm glad i took my time reading it so that's that all right so moving on to january so i'm gonna start off with the biblical fiction and i only have two here but i'm probably only gonna get through one hopefully but um i actually contacted the company because i work with moody publishers before um with their mp newsroom blogger program i'll leave that link down below for you guys to check out but they have a blogger program but i really 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 wanted to read this duology from this author because i am a fan of this author so much i have read three of her books i loved all three now i i am reading these two and there's only two more books of hers that i need to get um that i'm debating on purchasing like asap but um i contacted them and told them you know that i am working on a video because i really want to do a biblical fiction video for you guys so you guys can really understand what it is and know the different ones that are out there i want to do a video on that and i contacted them and requested four books they told me they definitely could send me you know two of the books which were the two that i really wanted because they can only do two books at a time they sent it out but there was something going on with the um order it never got to me it probably got messed up in uh the shipping and everything with the holidays so they reshipped it out and they also sent me the third book that i really wanted so you'll see that book in the book haul but the two books i'm talking about are from tessa after and i love her obviously i just read one of her books which is thief of corinth she also has um, in the Fields of Grace, as well as Pearl and Sand. I'm going to do a whole video on her books because her books are amazing. But I really wanted her Harvest of Ruby's duology. A duology is basically two books in a series. So they sent it to me and I'm loving it. So we have The Harvest of Ruby's by Tessa Afshar. And all that I know is that this is about the prophet Nehemiah, his cousin Sarah, and her husband-to-be Darius. Um, I will read the back of it, though. So it says, Remarkable talent threatens to cloud a life. The prophet Nehemiah's cousin has been catapulted into the center of the Persian court, working long hours and rubbing elbows with royalty and becoming the queen's favorite scribe. Not bad for a woman living in a man's world. But a devastating past has left Sarah believing that God doesn't love her and her achievements are the measure of her worth, a measure she can't quite live up to, which is kind of true. A lot of us measure um, you know, our worth by what we do and our accomplishments, and it never works. But anyway, it says Darius Passer. Got it. I'm probably saying his name wrong because it's a weird last name. So Darius P, we won't say P, um, is accustomed to having his way. A wealthy and admired aristocrat, the last thing he expects is an arranged marriage, the queen's scribe, an intelligent woman who scorns him. Can two such different people help one another overcome the idols that bind? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to read this, you guys. I am so excited. I have been enjoying Tessa Afshaw's writing so much. Um, this is one of her Old Testament stories, The Thief of Cor Corinth, with our, which I read this past uh, month was a new testament story so this is one of her old testament stories i'm so excited to read this so excited so excited um and then to go with that i have harvest of gold which is the sequel and the duology and i'm excited for that i'm not going to read the back because i don't want to spoil myself but um yeah i have harvest of rubies as well as harvest of gold i will be doing a vlog style video with harvest of rubies i did a video on how i annotate my books and you can click the on screen for that but i want to do a more in-depth one where you guys actually like see me read and how i fully annotate but in a vlog style so i'm like i'm going to talk to you guys about my process with the book so i'm, I'm probably going to do it for the entire book this book is how many chapters Oh, there's recipes in this book, y'all. I think it's 28 or 27 chapters in here. Yeah, 27 chapters in this book. So I'm going to read all 27 chapters and vlog through it and show you guys, like, how I annotate and stuff, like, fully and how I get my reading done. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. So look forward to that, hopefully, by March. That video should be up by March because it's going to take me a minute to edit and stuff. Um, and moving on to the Christian fiction novels. So obviously I have The Ruth Anointing by Michelle McLean Walters. Can't wait to dive into this. I'm not going to lie, I already read it ahead of time because I needed to prepare the questions. And I loved it. Just saying. So, um, I am stoked that we are reading this. Actually, as this video is going up, we're starting this week. So, um, obviously, if you're joining in and have this book, the book, the physical or the ebook, um, or I think the audio, I'm not sure if they have an audio book, but we're going to be reading the introduction and chapter one this week. And then I'll be doing a video in the Facebook group on Saturday, just discussing my thoughts of what we read. So yeah, I'm excited, you guys. I'm so good. This, I love the book of Ruth, the story of Ruth and Boaz. I love the, um, not just the, the surface level of the romance, but looking at it deeper as Boaz being Christ and Ruth being us and just understanding that God loves all people he will find a way to get his children like I I love this book so much so we're diving we were into this book already if you're watching this video so yeah um the next book I have here 
is a review book that I really want to read before it comes out in February. This comes out February 26th, um, and it's by Erwin Raphael McManus. It's The Way of the Warrior, An Ancient Path to Inner Peace. So this is all about being... Um, a warrior and understanding what a warrior is. Um, I'll just read the back. It says, in order to be ready for a battle, we must first know peace. Our world often thinks of a warrior as someone who dominates with external strength, maybe even at the expense of another, which is true. But the true warrior is on a far greater quest to re realign the human soul from anxiety to peace, from pain to power. The warrior enters the arena not from greed or for gain, but rather to slay the artificial life to pursue a life of art intention victory isn't based on luck or talent true um, but on the transformative inner journey of the warrior the truth is every war waged was first lost in the human heart and that is so true when you look at history and hear about all the wars that have gone on between nations and cultures and groups of people it's always been because of a heart problem it was never about um, it never started out as like a money thing it everything starts out in the heart so I think that's just you know true um, so it says, in this provocative, powerful book, Erwin Raphael McManus provides a revolutionary blueprint for living at our highest capacity through the inward pursuit of peace. Um, through the through the ancient biblical practices of humility, focus, ownership, clarity, strength, and vulnerability, he guides you to recover or maybe encounter for the first time true inner peace. The battle is fierce. It rages around us, but also inside us. Sometimes the greatest enemies, the greatest challenges we face are within. By following the code of the warrior, freedom awaits along with our most powerful future. Um, I really want to read this as well because my word of the year is peace. That was a word that the Lord, you know, the Holy Spirit just gave to me because I was contemplating on a word of the year. If you guys don't know, um, my word of the year for 2018 was faith. And I really was working on my faith. And I think I got my faith um, to a good good place. Is that a good place? So now I'm working on peace for 2019. So I thought this would just be a great one. And because it's coming out, I got to review it. Duh. So I have that. Um, the next three books um, are books that I just want to read. Because I want to read. So the first one is A Woman God Can Use. Old Testament Women Help You Make Today's Choices by Alice Matthews. Now this is in a series of three books. It's A Woman God Can Use. A Woman Jesus Can Teach. And then A Woman the Holy Spirit Can Guide if I'm not mistaken. Um, they do have different covers now. But I have this in the this and the Jesus one in the old cover. I have the third book in ebook. But um, I really wanted to read these because they're really good. This one talks about Eve, Hannah, not Hannah. Right, yeah. It talks about Eve, Hannah, Leah, Rahab, Deborah, Ruth, Abigail, um, Esther, the Proverbs 31 woman, Hulda and Miriam, the widow of Zarephath. I think that's how you say it, and it's from Eve to Mary. So I'm excited to dive into this and really read it. There are discussion questions, so you guys know I'm all about those interactive books that give you questions to talk about. Um, so I, I, I just love interactive books, interactive um so yeah i'm excited to dive into this it's a really short read so i'm hoping to read this probably in like three days hopefully we'll see um the next one is from anthony j carter this is running from mercy jonah and the surprising story of god's unstoppable grace i did receive this for review as well and um i want to read this before we study jonah next month because we're studying jonah in february and i want to use this as a part of the study um just because there are some interesting things in here and i personally i've, I've read through jonah i've done the um notes which the notes for jonah should be up next week so the second week of um january you'll see those notes um if they're up already i will leave a link down below so we can get them but um yeah i'm excited to really dive into this and see if i can use it for the bible study the last one i want to read um is another book club book that we're going to be reading for march and i, I want to try to get uh, at least five chapters or six chapters in so i can start working on the questions and stuff like that but it's adamant by lisa beveray this is finding truth in a universe of opinions this is all about understanding who truth is and understanding that truth is not something but it's a person it's jesus it's god and um i'm excited i did get a preview of this before and i was i was like blown away so when i requested it i was excited to get a copy so um yeah i'm excited to dive into this okay so now i'm gonna move on to the things that i'll be studying for the month of january the first one being the epistle of ephesians <laughs> or the epistles to the ephesians rather um the book of ephesians will be studying if you guys do not have this you can download the um well purchase the printable it's just a bunch of notes it has cross ref cross references charts and all that um it's 30 pages for ten dollars this is what I'll be using to teach 
um, teach. I hate saying the word teach. I don't like saying teach. Um, but to do the Ephesians Bible study with you guys. And for that, I will be using the ESV um, translation. This will probably be the last time you'll see this, this translation for a while because I'll be switching over to the New King James and the King James and probably trying out the other ones. But um, yeah, Ephesians, we will be studying. So I'm studying Ephesians, obviously. Um, and then I want to dive back into studying um, Psalms. I have not studied Psalms in God knows how long. Um, I studied all the way from Psalms chapter 1 through 67. So I really do want to dive back in. And my journaling Bible is this one. This is the New King James Journal of the Word Bible from Thomas Nelson. And I know they have updated versions of this. This is my, my older, like, older version, which is the cloth, what is this, the cloth hardcover turquoise design i can't remember what it's called but um yeah i love this it's amazing and again i still have my bookmarks and stuff to like the things that i've studied so i need to dive back into chapter 68 and i think what stopped me from chapter 68 is it's so long it's like a long long one there are over 30 verses and i just i don't know i guess i got to a point where i was like over it with studying so um i do want to dive back into studying psalms that's what I want to do. And then I am doing BSF this year. Um, I started it last year. I joined in for lesson 13. So we'll be doing lesson 14 actually next week. So I need to actually start reading that. Um, but yeah, right now we're in for Samuel for that. But I'm also backtracking to lesson 1, which is on Joshua and Ruth. So I need to study those. And the Bible that I use for that is the ESV Story of Redemption Bible. I did review this Bible already. I love this Bible so much. It's a commentary Bible. It is not a study Bible. It's more so a journaling Bible. So it's a journaling Bible, but there are like commentary from the actual um, pastor who has created this Bible with um, Crossway. And I have studied Joshua already. Let me show you guys. I am up to Joshua chapter 3. I probably would have been further, but things have been going on in life. But yeah, I've been studying Joshua in this, and I really do like the paper quality in this Bible. It's really amazing. Um, so I've been studying Joshua in this. I need to go back in. Oh, I ripped it. Oh, okay, whatever. I need to go back and also do for Samuel in here as well. But I do have my BSF binder right here with all of the notes. So I already have it pinned off. For um, lesson 13 because I didn't read the notes for lesson 13 yet so I need to read that and then go on to lesson 14 and lesson 14 I think we're going to be reading what is it first Samuel 25 um, yeah, 25 26 27 and Psalms 37 so those are the things that I have to be reading so to recap the things that I'll be reading and studying in the book the actual Bible um, we have Ephesians that I'm doing with you ladies. Psalms, I definitely want to get back into. Then I have Joshua, and I also have 1 Samuel. So those are the four books of the Bible that I'll be studying. Um, but yeah, I'm excited, you guys, for this year with the things that I'm going to be reading and doing. I'm excited for this month. I'm hoping to read a lot more books than I picked out, but we'll see. Um, yeah. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions um, about anything, just comment down below. Let me know if you are not subscribed to the channel. Definitely subscribe and join my little family. I love each and every one of my subscribers. I like having conversations with you guys, talking with you guys on Facebook, Instagram, um, even on the Bible app. A lot of you guys have like added me on the Bible app and we're doing Bible plans together. And just I love the community that I have here with um, the Daughter of Increase family. And I really, really do enjoy it a lot. But um, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you're going to be reading for this month, what you're going to be studying for this month. I'm always interested in books because we know I like books. Um, books are life. They're, 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 <sighs> books make me happy. They're my happy place, so you know. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.